We're building test nets for a number of reasons, deploying test nets to, to, to users. Um, it's first important to distinguish that there's really two different kinds of test nets that we're doing. Um, there are test nets which are uh, about some kind of uh, cool new feature, like a tech preview of something that we want to demonstrate uh, a new feature. Uh, and the other kind of test net is the kind of ongoing test net that just runs forever um, and is just the uh, what's going to be in the next version. Right, so it's important to distinguish those two kinds because they have different purposes. So if we look at the, um, the kind of ongoing test net first, um, so this is you know, the test net that should be available at any time for anyone who wants to do system integration, testing, whatever, um, you know, exchanges want to use this, anyone else who wants to do integration wants a test net to, to work with um, to help them um, test and do integration. Um, but it's also um, for the purpose of letting partners, integration partners, end users, um, see what is going to be in the next version. Because we have this process of rolling development and rolling releases, um, and when, when things are done, um, you know, there's a cycle, a release cycle. When things are ready, um, well, well, it's the other way around. It's actually sort of on a time-based schedule. Um, you know, every, uh, there's a cutoff date, things get put into the test net. Um, well, they go through internal QA, put into the public test net, and then some time for uh, end users to try that out, see if there's any problems, and then we deploy that to, to the mainnet. Um, so the purpose there is, is exactly that, for end users to, to see what's going on, to see, to try out new things, to see if anything has broken accidentally that we hadn't managed to catch through our own uh, QA processes. Um, so that's, that's that kind of test net. Um, and then we've got these sort of um, tech preview uh, test nets. And those are all about um, uh, showing that we have our technology working and trying to get feedback from people. Um, uh, so, uh, for example, we've got the you know, Shelley project with the decentralization and wallet features, and then we've got Gogan with all of its smart contract uh, features. And we want to get um, early feedback from, from developers and other users uh, on how that's working and whether that meets their needs. Um, so, um, yeah, so if we look at, for example, um, the, the, the test net that we're going to be deploying first, uh, this is actually from the Gogan project, but it's in some ways relatively early in the, in the Gogan process. Um, there's, there's two test nets we're going to be deploying. One is for uh, the K EVM, and the other is for Yele. And so these are both um, Ethereum EVM uh, related features. So uh, ultimately, Cardano is going to support um, both uh, EVM compatibility, sort of legacy compatibility with, with existing EVM programs, and also a kind of improved EVM-like uh, system, uh, which, is, which is called Yellow. Um, and we are, so the, the first testnet that we're doing here is for, for both of these two things. Um, we're deploying it as part of um, our Ethereum Classic client, because it was, from development purposes, easier to integrate uh, an EVM-like thing into a, an Ethereum Classic uh, uh, client. Um, so that's the, the Mantis uh, client. And so we'll be deploying those. And the purpose is to get feedback from users and from developers on uh, you know, how, how well these systems work. Do they meet their needs? Are there any things that you know, we didn't think of that, that turn out to be really important? Um, so that down the line, once they're integrated into Cardano proper, um, you know, everything works uh, smoothly. So the first testnet is going to be on the 28th of May, and that will be the K EVM and Yele testnet, so two, two testnets. And these are the ones that are of the sort of tech preview feature style, rather than the uh, ongoing rolling release style. And, and these are about demonstrating uh, our Yele and K EVM platforms, uh, and the ability to compile and run Solidity contracts. Um, so that's the purpose of those ones. Um, and then there will be uh, additional uh, test nets coming out later. There'll be a whole series of test nets over the next six months. The, 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 probably the one that will be, we'll get out following uh, will be the test net that corresponds to the uh, Cardano mainnet. It'll be the, the, the test net that will be uh, available publicly in the weeks before a mainnet update uh, as part of our rolling release cycle. Um, and so that will have like an ADA faucet available and partners and users will be able to try that out.
Um, then over throughout the um, uh, Q2, Q3, uh, we will have, um, well, it, there will be a test net for um, decentralization, the staking, um, which is probably going to be uh, the back end of Q3. Um, and that's the one that will have, um, that has the, yeah, the full decentralization of Shelley. Um, the, the ability to run stake pools, the ability to delegate your stake using the deadless user interface. Um, and there will be um, further test nets uh, of the, again, of the feature variety um, through, throughout the rest of the year uh, on, the, on the Gogan project, that's all this smart contract uh, stuff. Um, there will be ones that demonstrate various features including uh, side chains, multiple native currencies, um, we, we haven't planned out exactly you know, which features will appear together in one test net or which ones will be available separately. But throughout the course of the year, we're going to be having um, test nets for demonstrating these new features. Um, and they'll be rolled out you know, as and when they're ready. Different test nets are aimed at different people and for, for different purposes. So if we, if we look first at our, um, our test nets, which are aimed at our smart, about our smart contract platform, um, and then look at decentralization in a second. Um, so the smart contract platform test nets are aimed at developers, people who want to write smart contracts. Um, people who, for example, might have been using Ethereum already and writing Solidity programs and JavaScript that interacts with their Solidity programs. Um, the, the KEVM and Yale test nets are aimed squarely at uh, developers who uh, are familiar with um, Solidity and you know, have been using perhaps Ethereum, um, or, or been writing applications perhaps that, that make use of Ethereum. Um, then later in the year, we will also have um, smart contract uh, test nets that use, um, that will demonstrate our other languages, Plutus and Marlowe. And they're, again, they're aimed at developers, um, but they're a different style of language. Um, they are functional declarative smart contract languages, uh, which I think a lot of developers will find very interesting. Um, we certainly think there's a lot of promise in those. So, so yeah, those smart contract platforms, uh, you know, the, the test nets for those smart contract platforms are really aimed at, uh, at software developers. Um, now, then on the, the delegation side, the decentralization um, side of things, uh, that is aimed at slightly different people. Uh, it's aimed at people who are interested in running state pools. Um, it's, an, it's aimed at people who are interested in seeing how delegation is going to work. You know, how, how will I be able to make choices between different stake pools and see what information is available and uh, choose, choose how I you know, um, do delegation. So that one will be you know, aimed at keen and interested users and it'll be aimed at um, people who are interested in operating stake pools. So the stake pool registration process uh, closed at the end of May. Um, now we are expecting that the actual um, test net will be um, not for you know, uh, several months yet, um, probably uh, back end of, of Q3. So there's you know, a, a fair period of time in between and we will try to keep um, uh, giving updates to, to everyone as, as the process goes along. Um, but it's important to note in particular that, well, we have everybody's registration. Um, uh, nearly 2,000 people at this point have um, uh, registered interest. Um, and it's important to note that actually in the end everyone will have an opportunity to be involved but there'll be different levels of participation um, because we will, what we're trying to do here is test out, you know, in, in part we're testing out the social dynamics of state pools. I mean, we have a game theory that says how things should work in a, in a perfect world, but we also need to you know, test that with, with reality. Um, so some people will be, um, we're, are trying out you know, operating state pools, but we also need people to take part to um, you know, be end users and choose between state pools. So we will provide um, particular assistance to uh, a selected subgroup uh, that we will pick um, of people that we uh, hope might be able to run a state pool in the test net. Um, and in particular that will involve um, providing them with additional documentation, um, a bit more you know, communication and engagement to say that, that, that that's what's going on. Um, and during the test net, we, what we are currently expect to happen is that we will provide um, those people who are going to act in the role as operating state pools uh, to give them a bit more um, you know, test ADA uh, up front um, because 
part of the game theory requires that uh, state pools have a slightly larger amount of stake um, to start off with. Um, but everybody else will still be able to take part, and they'll be able to go to the ADA faucet uh, and get you know, some test data on the testnet uh, and you know, do delegation. They can choose between uh, the various people who are running, running state pools on the testnet. So it will be a little bit of a long process, um, and we will, we will provide you know, updates as we go along of, um, you know, in much more detail how it's going to work. At this stage, we've pretty much finalized the game theory. We're now, it's been a rather long process. It took longer than we expected. Uh, but we've now got you know, lots of uh, pretty graphs and simulations that show that everything stabilizes and things are looking quite good. So our game theory people are, are now happy that um, we have a you know, coherent set of rules that, that we really think are going to work. So what we're providing for uh, access to the test nets and information about the test nets is, st for starters, we've launched a, uh, a test net website. And that lists all the different kinds of test nets that we are currently doing. I mean, at the beginning, at the moment, that's just the one. Um, well, actually, it's two, the KEVM and Yellow. But over time, that will be a portal for all of the different test nets that we are running at any one time. So you'll be able to see what they all are. You'll be able to see for each one, you'll be able to see information about it. What is it? What's it for? Uh, who's it for? Um, and uh, dig into more detailed documentation. So you'll be able to learn about what that test net is about. Then there'll be also resources for uh, using it for you know, installers, downloads, um, and if necessary, other tools, uh, things like block explorers, ADA faucets, uh, these kinds of things. Um, and then in, in addition, um, we will have um, uh, forums for uh, people to uh, ask questions and answer each other's questions. We're hoping to, to get a Stack Exchange uh, established. Um, and that will allow you know, expert users to answer other users' uh, um, questions. So there's really kind of two ways to, to get in touch and get information, get answers. Um, it depends on the kind of question. So if you've got a bug that you think you've found in, in you know, one, of our, uh, one of the test nets, one of the beta uh, tech previews, whatever, um, if you're using Daedalus, you can still report bugs through the Daedalus user interface. And that will you know, submit the logs to um, to IOHK and they'll be analyzed by, by developers. Um, now, if it's more about you know, how do I do this with Solidity or how do I use this API, then, then the appropriate thing is probably going to be um, the, the sort of community forums. Um, as I say, hopefully we'll, we'll have a Stack Exchange, but if not, something, some other forum for people to ask and answer uh, questions. So different test nets will last for different periods of time. Um, Remember that there's these two different kinds of test nets. There's the kind of one that goes on the, the rolling release style, the one that, is, that corresponds very closely to what the current mainnet is. And, and that one never finishes, really. I mean, it gets updated you know, every so, so many weeks, six weeks, whatever. Um, and so the, if you want, the, the period of that test net might only be a week or two weeks between when it's rolled out publicly and when it goes into the mainnet. But that test net is always there. It's just, it's just the rolling, um, and it's just updated uh, as we go along. Then there's the, remember there's these feature or beta tech preview style um, test nets. And those have a limited lifetime. Um, but even then, they can be updated multiple times um, as you know, either fixes are incorporated or new features are added. So in particular for the smart contract um, uh, test nets, we're expecting there to be um, several test nets in parallel and for some of them to run for quite a long time but probably with, with updates um, every couple months or so as, as new features are added uh, as we go along. So some, some could be comparatively short and others could be quite long uh, and some will have multiple updates. And there will be multiple test nets running in parallel. In particular, there's always the one that corresponds to like what's about to go into mainnet and then there'll be um, at least two parallel uh, test nets for uh, Cardano, uh, uh, sorry, for um, uh, smart contract features um, with, for our different smart contract platforms uh, and then uh, Shelly delegation as well. So there'll be several concurrently with different lifetimes.